We are back to paint the hat on our sad Santa and tree. We did the base coat, the coffee bean, and we're going to actually now dry brush. I did the back to show you what the finishing touch would actually look like. I dry brushed, you'll see this color here is a mixture of the beige and yellow, very, very little of this. I mix them together and then I'll dry brush on that area and I'll dust with the mocha, dust with the mocha in this area. Here, you'll see where I've dusted, there. So we'll take the top part, take our paint tray, our brushes. I choose to use these two colors, but you can use whatever colors you may wish and mix them together. I like to put them in the tray Put them in the two separate bins, so it's two separate bins, and then take the colors you take into an empty one and mix them together over here to get the desired yellowish brown, the brighter brown that you're looking for. Once you get that done, and get what you're looking for, you can start to brush. Now obviously I'm gonna to have to make up more. I take my paper and I'm gonna get rid of the extras on here and dry brush on the hat. So I will take it and you got grooves going this way and grooves going this way and grooves going everywhere. So I'm actually gonna be careful and get the corners over here, like right in that area there, and go very lightly up each one, and just dry brush till I get every one done. It's very light at the moment. Here, very, very light. You can see just a little here on the back side, and you can see it here. This is three coats to get that color. I let it dry for 20 minutes in between each one. So I dab on my paper after I dip. And I keep going. Be very careful around the eye, around the nose, the eyes, and up here we're going to enter in carefully into this area to go around everything. Be very, very careful to get the desired color without getting the tree or your antlers. We'll go very carefully, because this is going to be a little bit different in there. And you've got coat one around that, right in through there, without getting, getting as close to the antlers, without actually getting the antlers. You're going to do the same thing up here, go very, very carefully around everything up here. very, very carefully. And without touching those eyeballs, we're gonna go around them. Just extremely careful. and keep dry brushing on this color. 
until you get They said be careful around the nose. That'll be a different color. Be careful around the eyes. And be careful around this ear. Once again, the same thing as the other side. Enter carefully. dry brushing. The entire hat, the color that you picked. Get the sides sides of your okay and that's all done there and what I'm going to try to do is carefully go in here and dry brush in there because that is going to be a solid one of this color and I'm going to very carefully dry brush inside without getting too much into the groove of the hat's outer side. So it'll look like that. And that'll need about three coats, maybe more. And then we'll dust inside as well. And that's the inside of the ear. See the difference? And we'll have that. On the same as this side. And very, very carefully, you will take the inside by dry brushing the inside. This side's a little bit more difficult because I'm trying to angle my brush a tad bit different because of the tree. We're just going to dry brush in here as well. I try to stay as much as I can on the inside. And I'll do that for three coats. And just touch up anything. And let each coat dry for 20 minutes in between for the front part of this hat. And then the coffee bean color, I chose for the antlers, I'll actually do one solid coat of this over the antlers. So whatever base you use, do the antlers one more time. That color, so it's complete. And you will have your hat And then you will take, after three coats of your mixture, you will take, I'm going to use this mocha, but you can use whatever color you might want. And I'm going to dip it, and I'm pretty much going to get rid of everything on my brush. So it's just a very light dusting, and I'm going to dust in here, right here, through here, and a little bit on top with the light mocha. And then move on to black for the eyes, black for the eyes, and this will do a dark red with a little bit of orange on top, and I'll show you that when we get there. 
for the next steps. So do this for three more coats after each one is complete or whatever desired color you might want. And I will meet you next time to do the dusting and to work on the eyes and the nose. And then we'll have to put some nice little black lines in through here to highlight this area here for the hat to be done. So if you like what you see, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.